ships, planes, trucks and trains. Every year they are used to take more than 20 million consignments of radioactive material to destinations all over the world. Places where it is urgently needed. For generating power, for diagnostic and therapeutic uses in medicine, in industry, research, manufacturing, agriculture, minerals exploration and in and around our homes. Radioactive material makes our lives easier, better, safer and healthier. The movement of radioactive material has an excellent safety record. That's because of the care taken by those sending the packages, the carriers delivering them, the package recipients and the stringent regulation provided both at the global level by the International Atomic Energy Agency and nationally by member states. This is one of a series of short videos produced by the IAEA about the essential aspects of the safe transport of radioactive material. It's about the placards, marking and labelling used for radioactive material when it's being transported. Transport of radioactive material is one of the few activities where you actually take radioactive material and put it in the public domain. Therefore, the public has a right to know when radioactive material is being transported nearby. Radioactive material is part of a class of substances known as dangerous goods. To protect people, property and the environment from these chemicals during their movement from place to place, their carriage is tightly regulated by the United Nations recommendations for the transport of dangerous goods, by other bodies including national and regional interpreters of these regulations, by the International Maritime Organization, the International Civil Aviation Organization and by the IAEA's own standards and guidelines. Radioactive materials are designated by the UN as Class 7 dangerous goods and vehicles carrying such goods are required to carry a placard drawing attention to this. The diamond-shaped signage is used for dangerous goods worldwide. This placard carries very important information. Radioactive 2 means low radiation levels. More about this in a moment. Contents. This shows the package contains thallium-201, a radioisotope used in nuclear medicine. Activity indicates the level of radioactivity is 366 gigabecrels. Transport index 0.2 means that at one meter from the labeled package, the radiation dose rate should be no more than 0.002 millisieverts per hour. Hazard index 7 which is of course the UN's hazard identification number showing that the contents are radioactive. The regulations also require the packages themselves to carry labels. All shipments of radioactive material with the exception of those containing limited quantities or those of low specific radioactivity must bear two identifying warning labels on opposite sides of the outer package. Leaving aside these exceptions, three different labels are used on the external surfaces of packages containing radioactive material. White 1, Yellow 2 and Yellow 3. Their purpose is vital. It indicates the radioactive content and the quantity of the material being shipped. The white label signifies that the package emits almost no radiation. Specifically, a maximum of 5 microsieverts per hour on the surface of the package to justify the use of this label. The yellow 2 label indicates low radiation levels, specifically 0.5 millisieverts per hour maximum on the surface and 10 microsieverts per hour maximum at a distance of 1 meter. The yellow 3 is for packages that emit higher radiation levels, 
of 2 millisieverts per hour maximum on the surface and a maximum of 0.1 millisievert per hour at a distance of 1 meter. This labelling must also be used for fissile class 3 or large quantity shipments regardless of radiation level. As well as drawing the attention of the public to the hazards posed by radioactive material in transit, these labels do the same job for cargo handlers and for the emergency services personnel who might have to deal with an accident involving the shipment of radioactive material. The importance of the label is that people who are handling it know what they're handling, obviously. But equally, if there was a, an accident, those responding to that accident know what the package contains. It's a universal standard that everybody knows and everybody is trained for. So, signage, placards and labelling form an important element of the stringent regime of standards, procedures and regulations that help maintain the excellent safety record of the transport of radioactive material. It's all designed to give confidence to the people who are handling this material, to the confidence to the people that may have to respond to an incident involving this material, that it's predictable, we know what it means and we can deal with the event, whatever that may be. To find out more about the safe transport of radioactive material, visit our website at goto.iaea.org forward slash transport safety. It's also worth looking at the nine companion films in this series. Together, they're a great introduction to the hows, whys and wherefores of the transport of these vital goods.